All right, guys. Today we're gonna be reacting to Andrew as professional gold digger. What else she brings to the table? Jump in. So, Amy, you're a pilot, a model, and a high high end companion. Uh, so, do you can you consider yourself a worker? So it's a funny thing. According to the community, I'm not. Uh, totally one, but according to the general public, I am. So I guess it depends who you ask. Can I have you just scoot your mic to the edge of the table, like that corner? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good. Thank you. Thank you. When you say the uh, the general public, I'm assuming that you mean more people. When you say general public, I mean I certainly haven't talked to anybody, but I sort of uh, yeah. I date. I am only attracted to wealthy, generous men who provide for me. That's all I've ever dated in my entire life. It's all I ever would. I'd rather be single than split bills. Um, so, yeah, that is how I like to live. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, like, right, like, sport type of women have told me that I don't qualify as one. So I'm not sure why. Do you not consider what? yourself a No, they tell me that I don't qualify because I don't do the same stuff and live the same way. But Again, let's just go back to the arguments. Not what they think, it's what men think. See, remember that, guys. I am. I well, very much I think sex work ask, should be um, decriminalized, and I, I think um, even if you hate it, the way we handle it in America is harmful. And but that's a different discussion. So, uh, well, I'm happy to get into that discussion. But before we do, um, you you are. I'm, I'm I'm just curious. What are you bringing to the table besides your body to these men who are taking care of you? You'd have to ask them. Well, I'm asking you. I don't know. You'd have to ask them. They're the ones who want to date me. So from your perspective, what do you bring? Me. So what does that mean? I mean, you'd have to ask someone who loves me why they love me. I'm not a mind reader. No, I'm not asking you to be a mind reader. I'm just asking you. You are on the other end of this relationship. I assume you know what you bring to the table of the relationship, right? If somebody loves me, then and I love them, then I keep dating them. I don't really worry about the why. So you don't know what you bring to the table? I don't really give it that much consideration. Well, if you had to guess, if you had to take the attributes you think that they're after the most, what would you say they were? Don't know. Wow. I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> You've never even asked? Never. Nope. You've never asked, why do you love me? Oh. No. Why would I ask? My bad, guys. Oh. Ask you that? never asked, why do you like me? No. That's an You never asked, ask what that. are the things about me that you, you adore? No. You never asked any of those questions? I have not. So then... Essentially, you're just giving them sex, and in exchange, they're giving you money, and that's it? Hopefully not. It? Well, then what else is there? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. I that's... mean, if you don't know, then... <laughs> I mean, I'm asking you. You're on the other end of the relationship. That's, that's, a, that's kind of an odd answer, right? So if, if okay. uh, somebody were to say, what do you bring to the table between you and your wife? You say, well, you can ask my wife. If they say, well, but I'm asking you, what do you think you bring to the table? I think I would have pretty good answers for what I think I bring to the table. You don't have any? No, not for you. What does that mean? Uh, not well, there we go. That's the thing. She knows what he's, he's up to. She's testing him. This is what they call a chest test. She's testing him, and he knows what is, what is going on here. Not for me. Does that mean you have answers for somebody else who's not me? No. No, you don't have those either? So you just don't have any answers at all? Correct. Okay. Very good faith, by the way. Yeah. I'm a little confused, though, because so you said you're a high-end companion, um, but you don't, just so I have this correct, you don't consider yourself an escort? I sort of thought it was similar with very much longer relationships, but in, this, in the sense that I like men who provide for me. So well, I thought I was, kind of, but with extremely long and deep relationships but um okay. but people in my industry say that i'm not so yeah so i don't know what you would call me um i don't really it, think about it a lot so you have a, a website it says world's most exclusive model all of that was written by my lawyers for seo i've never actually read it so i don't know what it says oh okay oh that's uh, irresponsible man that's so irresponsible she so let's go to the sign languages so Shame, insult, guilt, and need to be right. The need to be right here is very, very strong. It works. She's a Medusa. She's very sneaky. Um, so, I mean, if a guy contacted you and wanted to go on a date with you, uh, aside from, I guess, paying for the meal, I mean, would you charge him for your time 
to like go on the date. I would never date a guy who didn't provide enough for the vacation, the outfit, the wardrobe, everything else too. For a first date. I mean, yeah, I. I yeah, so like you, a new guy comes into the picture. He's asking you out for the first time. I guess what does he have to do for the date to actually occur? I mean, it's been years, but many things. I've got to like him a lot. I've got to want to. And yes, he has to be very generous. Yeah, so when you say very generous, though, I'm looking Money. for something a little more concrete. Like, so you mentioned, like, wardrobe. He has to pay for clothes. Even on, like, first time eating, he has to pay for your clothes? It depends what the plans are. I mean, again, uh, it's He's years. taking you a nice steak dinner in uh, New York. Yeah, I'm going to expect an outfit. I'm going to expect shop. Like, usually, you know, they send you to their personal shopper, and then the car picks you up at 730, and, you know, all the standard stuff. It's pretty normal where I live. Well, can I ask this maybe a different way? <clears throat> Let us assume for a second that you met a, an attractive man in an age bracket that you thought was fantastic. And, uh, he said, listen, I want our relationship to be purely material. I just want to have sex with you. And in exchange for that, I'm going to take care of whatever it is your material needs are. Um, you wouldn't date him? No, that's vulgar. And the answer would be no. Well, why is it vulgar? You said purely material. Yeah, it's purely material. Yeah, that's not for me. So then there's something additional to the material that is valuable, right? Yeah, uh, so what are those things about you that are additional on, to the Andrew, material that are valuable? For me to agree to go out with him, I've got to like him, and hopefully if yeah, no, in a while, I know, I know love you him, like him, again, all that's established. Yeah. But if the material itself is not the thing, if there's additions to that from your perspective, what are those additional things about you other than your body, the material? that you think they're interested in. I don't know. If he's asking me out, I assume he's interested. I'm more concerned with whether I want him or not. By the way, Andrew, I sent you a text if you could check it really quick. Okay. Um, Riggly so, Gold Digger, thanks. Yep. <clears throat> Yo, what's I'm, up with this lady just standing up in the middle of the podcast, man? You cannot be doing this. So, I'm a little confused, though. Um, Maybe it's just a question of definitions here. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get my notes pulled up, but they're not coming. Um, I mean, so you, you don't have clients? It's been years. That's so not the did question. You, you used to then. Like, you don't, are you, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but did you, you, did you used to escort? I thought that was sort of similar, but I've been told by that escort community that that is not what I am. Okay. Um, okay. So there, there's no, like, let's say you go on a first date with a guy. Is he ever just giving, like, here's a thousand bucks? No, that'd be a bit reductionist for me. I'd say, I'd say no to that. There but you you've go. never, like, you've never been on a first date where there was, like, a, I'm not talking sex here. I'm just talking, like, going out on the date where he just gave you, like, here's 5,000 bucks. Here's a thousand bucks. I've had men send me more than that and never meet me. Tons of them. So all, all things happen. Okay. Uh, I have lady. one uh, one quick follow up. I was just curious about. Um, <clears throat> I have a, a close friend of mine. He's in the uh, the chat on my end right now, uh, who's a pilot, and he was just wondering if you could walk us through how you land a plane. What kind of plane? Um, any kind of plane. Well, they differ. The over the gate speed is yeah, different well, based on the one, type of one. aircraft. Just pick one. Yeah, pick whatever. Piston, one. turboprop, jet, like whichever turbine. Whichever one you want. Whichever one. Well, so you pick any. you set up 45 to the downwind. You set up turn base, turn final. There's things that happen during that, and then you touch down, wheels first, then set the nose down. There's yeah, it, but I mean, whether you like, do let's pretend pretend for a second I'm on a plane, whatever plane you pick, yeah, just and I'm you. like I'm the passenger. Hang on, I'm the passenger, right? And and I have to land this plane because the pilot like had a heart attack and he died. Then you're walking me through it. What's the first thing I do? First thing you're gonna you're gonna need to find where the push to talk is. Declare mayday. They're gonna give you progressive okay. instructions. You might be able to land it. That'd be tough, but yeah. Okay. First, first you're gonna need through, to talk to tower. Through it. Mayday, mayday. I, the plane's going down. What do I do? What's the next step? You're gonna have to talk to tower. All this is gonna come at you pretty fast, faster in turbine okay. than it is in piston. Um, but it depends on the type type of aircraft you're in. If you have any other if flight you just crew, pick I would an request. Aircraft. Doesn't I would, matter what it is. No, uh, it, it uh, does matter. Cessna. It matters a lot. I don't know. It's Cessna. It matters a lot. 
Okay, whichever, pick one. Doesn't matter which one. Well, the reason it matters a lot is because every all the variables change to pace, depending I on the oh, okay, money. Let's pick one. Let's pick uh, one. She, she, knows, she knows what Sandra's all, is, is, is all about. She's just being difficult. Because she's a, she's a Medusa. Any of them. Whichever one you want. Pick one. Okay, so like I said, are you in the pattern? Are you at 10 miles out on final approach? Let's are you talking see, to the center? Are you talking to I the don't, tower? I don't know any of this. Well, I don't you just know. asked I'm, me, I'm so I'm telling guy. you how you fly I'm a plane. I'm just a guy in a plane trying to land it. I'm terrified. What do I do? A bunch of stuff, and you're going to need progressive okay. instructions to try to live. Okay, so what do I do? What's the first step? It depends where you are. Oh, lady, this is so easy. My God, this is so easy. If you are professional in your area, you you can. The secret to mastery is knowing that you can take difficult tasks or difficult concept and just make it simple for those that cannot understand it. She might, she might be one of these people that she's just having a facade. She, she's just playing a, a character. And she memorized all this stuff enough to play a character. So is there battle. retractable gear? Is, there, is the gear not retractable? Um, the gear is retractable. The, okay, so it's at a certain point. It's after you 45 to the downwind. Before you turn base, you're going to have to put the gear down. And uh, you're going to declare maybe so they're going to give you the run. Dude, you step don't step listen. Though. If you want me to talk, you listen. Wait, when it, I talk, it, you listen. Andrew, are you uh, are you thinking that she's not telling the truth about the pilot thing? I'm pretty sure well, I, I'm this just, all sounds I'm, legit. Yeah, I'm not saying was. anything. I'm just wondering if you could walk me through. Because uh, this pilot buddy of mine, yeah. he's saying just he ask her to walk one. you through right. how I land this plane step by step. I mean, it all, all sounds pretty legitimate to me, Andrew. I'm, I'm not know. saying it's not legitimate. I'm just asking the question. Right, but I mean, I every time it. I tell you how to fly a plane, you interrupt me, though. When I speak, you listen, Andrew. Oh. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> Great. So, first, you're going to have to talk to people because you don't know how to fly a plane, so you're going to have to get instructions, otherwise you're going to die. Then you're going to get a bunch of things to do in series. There's speeds you need to be at, there's pitches, there's attitudes you need to be at. If you can get them done fast enough before dying, you might get it on the ground. It ain't going to be pretty. They're going to have the oh. foam and the ambulances out. They're going to give you the runway, which is what Mayday does. If you're further out than that, you have more time to set it up, but it depends where you are, how close you are. They're probably going to extend your downwind, you know, give you lots of time to try to save your own life. And then after you land, you know, if it, it depends if it has like reverse thrusters or brakes or what the, what the plane has, they're all different, kind of like cars. And so you're gonna have to slow down and taxi off if you're not dead by then. So, uh, you know. She literally is not, wow, she's not, she's not, she's not explaining. I don't, I don't. There's, there's, a, there's a procedure, they'll walk you through as quick as they can and you'll try to live, so. I don't there know. You go. I don't know, like, uh, like, like. <laughs> Andrew, I don't doubt her bona fides here. So I mean, what's sure. what's the? Uh... Does. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm just going to be completely honest here. I, I don't feel like she said anything. I feel it's like if I was going to explain to a person in a video game how you play a video game, it'd be like press X, then Y, then X, yeah, then Y, then this, thinking. then that, right? I'm just wondering if you could just walk me through step by step. Whatever scenario you come up with, you can come yeah. up with what. Brian, Brian is scared. Brian is scared. But uh, what Andrew is saying is true. Like if you want to walk somebody through something, you give them very simple instructions. Where it, if you if you are very well, I'm not saying that she she is. She might be a professional, you know, pilot. You know what I'm saying? She been through thousands of flights. She flew, you know, to the moon, back to you know to Earth, whatever. But you can tell she's not giving you very specific instructions. She might be playing a, a character, folks. Whatever scenario you want, in whatever demographic you want, in whatever city you want that I'm going down over, and how you would instruct a person to land a plane, that's Why all. Why is this man so mean to me? I've done nothing to him. I am not mean to you. I'm just curious. I'm Do finished talking to you. Out. Okay. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Oh, there's a sound. It's too late now. <laughs> well, good. All right. There you go, folks. Uh, you know, we're talking about aviation here. It's the well, welcome to the Whatever Aviation podcast. Uh, really scintillating. You know, uh, I, I'm, me personally, I, I'm not a big fan of flying. No offense. I get headaches. The altitude. Come on, Brian, bro. No, altitude. No, 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 no. Anyways. All right. Brian, let, let, the tension, let the tension run, bro. Let the tension run. You just learned how to freaking land a plane. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, cause like, anyways, going back to this. So I saw a clip on your Instagram 
like you were on another podcast and they were asking you like something about money and you're saying, well, I got like 20K from this guy and 30K from this guy. And, but were the, these were like men you were dating over the uh, period of time, or even some, I think you said, uh, some men you weren't, you haven't even met in person, they're just sending you money. Yeah, that happens a lot. It's weird, but that does happen. And like how, how do they get, like they slide into the DMs or? Yeah, or um, your website or your socials or your YouTube, you know, all and the stuff, and they want to give you money. It's, it's uh, interesting. Of the guys who you've never met in person, What's Whoa. the biggest amount that a dude sent you? Yeah, he's in simpy. He's in simpy behavior right now, Brian. You guys can tell. He he's trying to 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 move the you know the the the, the room. He's being simpy right now. I, have you guys noticed that? He's in simpy behavior. I don't know why. Never met him. He just like. I love you, Amy. Here's some money. <laughs> it's weird, right? Um, you know about Findom, their fin subs. This is their thing. Oh, you're doing like the Findom thing. Okay. Not formally, but it happens oh. anyway, I guess. Um, okay. And it's super weird. They'll send you uh, the uh, biggest guy. I gotta think. It's a lot. It's a healthy six figures. S wow. Six, like in one transaction. Yes. Some dude sent you like a bit, like two Bitcoin or some shit. Any uh, Bitcoin? You ever received crypto? No. No crypto? No, I wouldn't be against it, but no, it was You're US, open to crypto. US fiat and have the government got half of it because it's income. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, gift. You're welcome, state and feds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. No, it's damn. income, right? I thought if you write it as... Do you know any, like... The gift exemption, I think this year is like 12 or 14 grand. I'd have to look up with the IRS, so yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. than that. You're so three figures. Do, do and I don't mess with tax fraud. Do, do, do I'm afraid of the government. Oh, fair enough. Do you know any, like, gay dudes that, like, <laughs> just send people money without meeting them? Right? Because I'll, I'll take some, a couple bucks. You should, oh. sir. Oh, just Brian. throw me a few, a few... Brian, 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 Brian. This is, he's in a simpy energy right now. He's very simpy right now. He's being stupid right now. He's being very stupid. Get some. It's just the names. Beat and Cheeks? Probably a <laughs> yeah. dude. Or Probably a dude. Oh, Probably a guy. But, uh, okay, so, also, I don't know if I can... You, you In your pre-show messages, you said you previously worked in two industries. Are we at liberty to mention those? I, or after undergrad, uh, I did my undergrad at Cal, and I worked in biotech okay. for a couple years. And then I did an MBA in L.A., and I worked in oil. Okay, nice. gotcha. Yo, thank you, AB Check. Appreciate it. Like uh, oil, what, when you say you work I was in, in the investor relations of a Investors. small oil company okay. that we took public and then sold. Gotcha. Uh, huh. Wait, question. Really quick, going back to the whole, like, dude sending you money and stuff. <laughs> what about, like, including the guys you've met, what's the biggest, like, one-time transaction that you've gotten from a dude? I mean, the men that I've dated for years? Yeah. It's been tons over the years. I haven't counted. Wait, can you tell us like, from from uh, total collectively from one the from one guy, what's the most collectively? I don't know. Like seven figures. You oh think? sure. Any eight figures or no? No. Seven figures though. Yeah, probably not eight, but seven. Yes. Mid, mid or low? I don't. I've got to. I can In get back to you on get it. Get back to me. Okay. Uh, and then, total total, all men total. If you had. To, Say how much you've there's made. Some, there's some sim I'm telling you, a lot of these red pills, uh, especially there's a lot of sims, man. There's a lot of sims, sim, 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 sim. You can see them in the chat too. Like a lot of these guys, they put up five hundred dollars just to just get their point across. Like why, why would you do that, bro? Like in a podcast like this, I'm not saying Brian should just, you know, get his money. I think he, he's doing what he, he's running a business, but some of these guys, they're kind of simping, man. Like. Like, like the guy that's saying that huh, it's not as simple, just pressing X, she might be legit. Yeah, she might be legit, right? She might be legit. He's the same legit that the guy that just, you know, you know knows about surfing but never surfed before. So you, you probably know a lot of guys that know about surfing through books, right? And they can tell you everything about, you know, surfing. So I'm not saying that she not, she might not, she might be a pilot, I don't know. But some of the guys, they need to relax, man. The simping is real. You can tell. Look at look at the females here. They're threatened by her. See the females here? They're threatened by her. Let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. See you in the next one.